Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Friday, the 9th of July, 2021. About 10 of 8 in the morning. Here in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, it's humid out there, it really is. Uh, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's the same humidity, 93%. I believe it. The air is thick. Typical for the summer. 26 degrees Celsius. Oof. Not an auspicious beginning for the day. Scout skies are cloudy. They say we'll be getting some rain throughout the day. Who knows? Yesterday we didn't we didn't get much where I was at, but over by my daughter's house it rained off and on all day. Well, over my other daughter, I should say. So, uh, that happens though. Jacksonville is a big area, big city. Biggest city in the country area-wise. Uh, I've mentioned that before probably numerous times but it takes several hours to get from one side of the city to the other even on uh, interstate type type roads so uh, It is a, a big place. I have figures. The lights are running a different different schedule this morning. It's a really nice older pickup truck. Like early, early old uh, 70s type pickup. Anyway. Oh. Let's see. Alright, yesterday I didn't have any coffee. Because I didn't have any water. And when they came to check, because I was the only one in the area that didn't have water. Um, they were quickly able to diagnose the problem because I had a geyser of water coming up about 15 feet high outside my back door. <laughs> uh, somehow in the middle of the night, the uh, main water line going into my house popped apart. So. Uh, they end up having to pretty much rebuild the whole connection from what I understand. My daughter said the whole area was swamped out. But I got water back. That's the that's the part that matters. It wasn't it wasn't something that was my responsibility, so I didn't have to pay for it. That's another good thing. Uh, what the heck? Still not going to get to get the light? Uh, driver, you better have tripped that. Got a big old 18-wheeler sitting here in front of me at the light. Last time he didn't trip the... He wasn't far enough to trip the cycle. Hopefully it trips, trips out this time.
See, it's Friday. That's a good thing. Weekend coming up. Don't know. Don't have anything planned for the weekend. All right. We don't have anything planned for the weekend. So, we'll have to see what happens. I'm not really planning on anything either. Got a couple of ideas of what I could do. But then again, that's you know, the same things that happen all the time. Things that never get finished. Clean up my desk, clean up my room. Etc., etc., etc. Seems like, well, I mean, you do the dishes. I'm not home all that much. I don't, I don't really eat all that much at the house, and I have a tendency of letting uh, dishes build up a little bit. You know, I do. Maybe, a, uh, maybe I've got a coffee cup and a bowl, and uh, you know, the next day I'll add. I'll add a spoon and a plate or something. So, it tends to build up slowly and then all of a sudden you've got a whole sink full of dishes. Kind of like, I used to tell the old miss, she'd be like, we're caught up on the electric bill. And she said, As you're saying that, the electric bill is out there, you know, little meter is spinning around never caught up. You might be up to date on your payment, <laughs> but you're never caught up. It's constantly running and uh, one cool thing about being over here all day long is my electric bills are really low the past two months or so. Well, one one month wasn't for it didn't have anything to do with what's going on now. It's just I wasn't using the air conditioners and whatnot as often, so my bills are low. They were running about. 75 or around 75 dollars a month. This month there's like 63 dollars. So that's a that's a nice little cut. That's you know almost it's around 10 dollars, 10 or 12 dollars difference. So because I'm not there most of the day, I don't have lights burning. You know I don't have lights running or anything else. And that's even with. Like I have one air conditioner running on on uh, like 75, and then I've got a fan in the bedroom and a fan in the bathroom, just circulating air, both all low. So I can probably turn those off if I wanted to. They help keep the air circulating in the house, though. And then there's uh, two LED lights, three LED lights that I have burning. One in the kitchen, which is a, head, which is a fairly big one. And there's one little one in the in the bathroom. It's only like five LED lights runs off the of off a wall plug, basically USB, and then one in the bedroom, which is another, uh, it's run off a USB, but I've got a power port plugged into the wall, so all three of those don't draw, don't pull like a dollar worth of energy in a year. I can't imagine anyway.
I've been enjoying my coffee with the honey. I wish I'd, I'd made that change years ago. It's almost the difference between if you take two of the two of the Coca-Cola products, you take one that's made in Mexico with real sugar. One that's from here, made with cane syrup. There's a huge difference in the taste. There's a huge difference in the in the coffee between using white granular sugar or honey. Of course, there for a while I was using a brown sugar syrup and that was a that was a different taste as well I was using that brown a simple syrup made with brown sugar for a lot of different things A lot of different, a couple different drinks that I was making up. I haven't been making them for one reason or another. But uh, kind of like the, the brewed teas. Um, I've been hooked on this ginger ale kick for a while now, a couple weeks ago, a couple weeks running anyway. I had been cooked, hooked on black cherry and everything I was drinking was black cherry. And then I got the ginger ale on sale. I've always liked ginger ale. I had a real hook on ginger ale while ago I made myself change and now it just I fell right back into it again there's a lot of difference in ginger ales like I get right now I've got Seagram's at home uh, it depends on who's got what on sale So, like my daughter's still got a bunch of cases of Canada Dry. She bought a large batch uh, when they were buy one get one free or buy two get one free something. Uh, they go through a lot of ginger ale. And they go through even more when I'm there. <laughs> but uh, there's a difference between between the two tastes, between Canada Dry and the, and the Seagram's. And then of course there's, uh, Canada Dry has the gold, which is, I find it really tasty. It's got a nice ginger bite to it right at the beginning. You can actually taste ginger, and it's a little spicier. Uh, then you go down to the generic store brands, Whichever store that happens to be, whether it's the Czechs brand at Winn Dixie or uh, Sam's at Walmart, Publix has their own. I don't remember what that is. I don't go really there that often. Of course, the, the generic brands are a lot less gingery. Also, they used to be a whole lot less expensive. It used to be you could buy uh, 
five cases for ten dollars. And then there were four for ten. Now I think they're four for twelve. And you can get three cases of Canada Dry or Seagram's, depending, for eleven. Unless you get them on the buy two, get one, or buy two, get two. So. I don't know. I was thinking the other day that I need to start getting my cherry water flavored water back again, start drinking more of that, even if I'm drinking it 50-50 with the ginger ale. Ginger ale isn't chock full of sugars like some sodas, but it's still got way more than you really need during the day. Way more than it's good for you. So... cut back on that that might be a good thing Monday decided uh, what I'm going to do this afternoon like I said earlier you know it's, I don't really have plans set up too much but um, I really need some need to stock up at the house I'm almost out of my drinks. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff too. Running, running low on tuna, running low on butter. Um, plasticware, paper plates. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't been. I haven't been out shopping, shopping, or lifestyle shopping, where you know, I just go and get. Twenty or thirty dollars worth of stuff uh, in a while. So what I really need is a like hundred and fifty dollar shopping run. But that means dealing with all the dealing with all the heat and everything else that's in, that's involved there. Not just not just in the store like at Walmart, but when I get home having to get everything out of the vehicle and into the house. So, multiple trips in this heat and up and down the steps. Ugh. Not looking forward to it. Yeah, I could do a couple of smaller shopping sprees or shopping trips, which is probably what I'll end up doing. Bump, 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 uh. I'm not real, not real happy with that either, but, you know, making making small trips and having to do two or three of them this weekend. That's something a little weird. The brakes had a funny little vibration to them there. Anyway, we are about the end of the run, so thank you all for going along with the ride. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. We already need all your comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share around your social media, that'd be fantastic. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. 
If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about it. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see you all again. Hope you have a fantastic day. Watch it, y'all.